Welcome to my channel. In this tutorial, I will be showing you how to deploy your Flutter app to internet for free using GitHub Pages. GitHub Pages is one of the best features of GitHub that allows you to host a web page from your repository. And most importantly, it's free to use. So here I have created a simple Flutter web application and this is how it looks. This web app is currently running on localhost which can only be accessed by myself on my device. So now I will show you how to deploy this web app in GitHub Pages so that it can access by everyone through the internet. As I mentioned just now, GitHub Pages hosts the web page from your repository. So firstly, we have to create a repository in GitHub. Here, it's important to take note that the repository name cannot be a random name. It has to start with the owner name or the username .github.io and the username has to be the same as the owner name on the left. Any name that differs from this format will cause an issue to deploy. Now we can create this repository. Next, we have to upload Flutter web files into this repository. So in our Flutter project, we are not going to upload the whole project to the repository. We will only upload the required web files for deploy. So what are the required files? Flutter got you covered on this, which we just have to run Flutter build web and Flutter will generate a whole web folder that includes all the required files for deployment. So as you can see, a web folder is created inside the build folder. And this web folder contains all the required files needed for deployment, such as flutter.js and main.dart.js. Make sure you upload the web folder that is inside the build folder and not on the root directory. And make sure you only upload the web folder, but not the whole project. So here, I will change the directory into the web folder directory and push all the files to the repository that we created just now. And now we have successfully pushed the whole web file to the repository. So in the GitHub, we just have to refresh to see the changes and make sure only the web folder is uploaded. The reason to this is that the larger the file uploaded, the longer it takes to load the web app. Next, go to setting and on the left side, click on pages. And here you can see that it says your GitHub Pages site is currently being built from the main branch. This is because I have only one main branch and I push the required web files to the main branch root directory. If you have many different branches, make sure you select the required branch and pick the directory where your index.html file located. It takes some time to deploy. And now it says that your site is live at this link. It means that we successfully deployed our web app. And when we click on visit site, we will redirect to the website that I've created. And this Flutter web app is no longer run on local hosts that only accessible from my device. It's now available to everyone through the internet. Now you can pass this URL to anyone and when they open it in a browser, they can redirect to your website immediately. So this is how you deploy your Flutter web app for free using GitHub pages. If you have any question, feel free to comment below. Here comes to the end of the tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. See you in the next tutorial.